We hear a lot about Mars flights, AI and augmented reality. Yet a single lightning strike at a substation can leave 97 million people without power. Imagine if that were to happen right now. While the power is still on, check out what engineers worldwide have prepped for a blackout. Meet the Victron Energy Container. It activates automatically, acting like a massive, uninterruptible power supply. And the standard model comes with a 600 amp hour battery, enough to keep your fridge running and your laptop charged. It runs on 1600 watt solar panels and can be managed remotely through an app. It's so serious that Victron Energy even has its own operation system called Venus. If you've got some spare change after getting the Victron Energy system, you might want to check out All Powers for recharging small gadgets. It's a portable 10 watt solar panel. Even if the lights are out, the satellites are still up there. That means that you can stay connected and still make calls. The Iridium GO satellite terminal comes in handy for this. It's got its own battery with enough power for six hours of conversation. No need to search for a speaker or a microphone, they are built in. You can use two voice lines simultaneously. The internet speed from Iridium GO isn't super fast. 22 kilobits per second for sending and 88 kilobits per second for receiving. However, there's a nice surprise. Once you register, you can stay in touch with the International Emergency Response Coordination Center 24-7. Plus, the terminal's pretty light at just 1.2 kilograms, so it works well on hikes or business trips. In the UK, 4 out of 10 people face fuel poverty due to increasing prices and difficulties to cover heating costs. Though this data is a few years old, prices haven't gone down. Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands and many other countries face similar issues. And that's without taking blackouts into account. Maybe it's time to think about something like Heatmaster. These are game-changing gasification boilers that use 30 to 50% less wood. Using an advanced tornado chamber, they capture gas from the pyrolytic vaporization of wood, mix it with air, and burn it for intense heat. Even the basic G4000 model can heat up to 372 square meters. Would you consider getting one for $11,285? Meet Christoph, co-founder of the Coolar Project. He's here to talk about a fridge that doesn't need electricity. Coolar runs on solar energy, making it a lifesaver during blackouts or in areas without affordable electricity. The refrigerant is purified water flowing through tubes that create low pressure. As it gradually evaporates at room temperature, it cools the fridge contents. It's quite effective, similar to how sweat cools our bodies. The vapor, formed as the water evaporates, is absorbed by silica gel. The only task left is collecting the condensate, drying the silica gel, and starting the cycle again. The fuel cube tank is built for industrial use, but proves handy for motorists, homeowners, and places like hospitals that rely on diesel generators during emergencies. The FCP500 version packs 1,893 litres and includes a pump and a fuel gauge. Measuring 219 by 115 by 130 centimetres, these stackable tanks save space with their double walls. They cost $4,800 each and offer a backup fuel supply. If that's a bit steep, consider the Septa Duramax. This 53-liter wheeled container, complete with a pump, is available at $137. 
It's the perfect option for those who like the idea of buying a backup fuel source without breaking the bank. In the contest for the perfect blackout smartphone, the CAT S75 would likely win at least one category, no doubt. Loose signal, the CAT S75 reaches out to a satellite and shoots a text from anywhere on Earth. Answer from your Android or iOS phone by grabbing the Bullet Satellite Messenger app. Drop it accidentally, it's survived a fall from 1.8 meters onto steel. The CAT S75 is also mil-spec 810H military standard compliant, handling vibrations and extreme temperatures without a hitch. Plus, it lasts almost one-third longer than similar products. And at $632, it's cheaper than an iPhone 15. Two farms, a couple of hundred kilometers apart, often face very different weather conditions. That's why farmers desperately need systems offering precise local forecasts. The farm weather station fits the bill. It's solar powered, so no worries about charging. Eight hours in the sun and the battery's full, lasting a couple of weeks. The system checks the weather every 10 minutes and is equipped with a GPS module and supports GSM. It considers the three key indicators – temperature, humidity, and pressure. This way, the farmer knows precisely when to expect precipitation and its intensity. As a bonus, they get warnings about pest activity. The battery of modern smartphones drains so quickly that a full charge often lasts just two days, even for brand new models. After a year, it's down to one day at best. DesiWatt understands this frustration, and so they came up with Nowlite, a perfect device for blackouts or other power problems. Inside the white box is a 3200mAh battery. To charge it, you simply pull the cord. A minute of pulling gives you enough energy for a 15-minute call or two hours of room lighting. That's why now light includes a built-in light fixture. It takes about 30 minutes to fully charge the battery. On sunny days, you can plug in a solar panel. Now light is priced at $119. Is the blackout so long that we're back to using oil lamps like in the Middle Ages? It's actually not that bad. Lumia K is a very fun gadget. First off, it runs on any vegetable oil, even the one you use for breakfast eggs. Second, the lamp can work on a liter of oil for a month. And third, it's a hundred times brighter than a candle and four times brighter than a kerosene lamp, so you can read without straining your eyes. The coolest part is how it works. Check out those diodes. They light up from the flame's heat. That's why they learn physics in school. In a blackout, Lumia K will be a handy backup. And it's not too expensive. On Indiegogo, you can buy the lamp for $40. Up in the sky, the Hawk and the Falcon are doing rounds. The former gives out 30 kilowatts, the latter hits 100 kilowatts. And this is not some cyberpunk dream, it's a practical project, especially handy for neighborhoods facing constant power issues. These kites are super efficient, they can churn out 530 kilowatts of power in a space measuring 6 by 2.5 meters. Kites, cables, Batteries and other components come in a shipping container. Here's how it works. One end of the cable hooks to the kite, the other to the generator shaft. Smart Tech manages the flight's height and path. The shaft spins and energy is generated. 
It's a great option for small farms and businesses, and it'd be quite a sight on skyscraper roofs. Imagine having a turbine wall on your house or office, guaranteeing up to 10 kilowatts of peak power. No more worries about power cuts ruining a job interview, a meeting, or a movie marathon. This wall comes from New York designer Joe Doucet. He says the turbines are nearly silent, aesthetically pleasing, and safe for kids. Estimates suggest the wall could produce around 10,000 kilowatt hours per year, easily covering a typical American home's needs. Any extra power can neatly fit into a battery system. There's just one catch. It's only a concept for now. We're still waiting for prototypes and tests and all that. What does every family dealing with frequent power outages need? According to Jenny Ark, it's at least a week of independent operation for most household appliances. They claim theirs is the first generator designed specifically for modern homes. The top version delivers 4.4 kilowatts of power, generated by solar panels that can be set up in the yard in 30 seconds. Jenny Ark can also be charged from a wall socket. The collected energy can keep your coffee machine running for a week and your computer for two. The Home Power 2 version, storing 1,566 watt hours, comes at a cost of $1,400. Picture this you're at home and suddenly the lights go out. The internet's down and the weather seems to be up to no good. A catastrophe could be just minutes away. A tornado can speed up to 100 kilometers per hour, and egg-sized hail is no joke. So, it's crucial to know the weather ASAP. That's where the Eaton FRX3 Plus radio steps in. It tunes not just to AM and FM, but also catches updates from special weather stations on VHF. Power won't be an issue, as it charges from a solar panel or a hand turbine. They've even thrown in a flashlight, a red beacon, an alarm clock, and USB charging. Plus, it's easy to spot in the dark with its glowing insert. You can get one for $60. Oak Tech is a practical way to ensure you're not left without electricity. This British generator operates on LPG or bio-LPG with the prefix bio indicating that it's sourced from things like agricultural waste. Oaktech's power spans from 2 to 50 kilowatts, depending on the model. Makers tap into the support from the British government for research on bio-LPG generators and engines. They're already offering solutions that match up well with many diesel counterparts. However, their Chinese competitors are making their mark under the Genmax brand with the Tri-Fuel GM 10500 IETC generator. The name's long, but so's the list of advantages. It runs on gasoline, propane and LNG, featuring both outlets and USB ports. One press on the key fob gets it started, and it packs a punch with up to 10.5 kilowatts of power. With a total harmonic distortion of less than 3%, it's safe for connecting laptops, smartphones, and other sensitive gadgets. 